So welcome to the Gooseby Planet uh, free access. Um, I want to quickly run through how you get started and um, you know how you will teach this virtually. Obviously, children are all being at home at the moment, and this is why we're giving you free access. First of all, you need to make sure that your school is registered. If you have registered for our Gooseby Alerts, just log in. If you haven't, just log in or register. Go to Gooseby Teacher and register my school. If you've forgotten your password, just click forgot password. So I'm going to register my school and I'm going to call it Gooseberry Planet School. And I put my email in. Always try and use a work email for security reasons. Um, press that and then fill in your details. It's very straightforward. Uh, telephone number. You don't have to put your phone number if you feel that it's not appropriate. If you want us to give you a call, give us a good time of when you want to call. And then obviously put in a very strong password. Okay, so there's my school set up. I'm now going to register it. So I can't access anything apart from Gooseberry Alerts at the moment, all right? So it will take two days for us to actually process your free registration. But in the meantime, while that's happening, I want you to go to Setup and um, I want you to download your teacher template and also download your student template as well. Okay, so um, I'm going to put, open the student one. So while you're waiting for your confirmation email, so if you want to add all your teachers, this is the teacher template. So you just fill that in and then we're going to save that at enable saving. So I'm going to save that on my best drive. Okay, close that one down. And then the student one is here. So as you can see, uh, I'm going to put my email address in here because these are made up. The system, you have to put your teacher's uh, emails in first, which I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to add all of these students, but I'm going to put my email address in so you can see how it works. Okay. So with students, you put their first name, their year group and their teacher's email address. Okay. And it could be different teachers. You can put a second one in if you want to and just save that. Okay. Right. Um, so you're going to wait two days and then you will receive an email uh, with all your login details. Well, you just log in. You'll get an email to say that it has been made live. So now I've been given access. So what I need to do is go back to the Gooseby Planet website. Log in. Um, but this time, I'm not going to go to Gooseby Teacher, I'm going to go to Gooseby School. So Gooseby School is where you do all your admin. So this is where you add your teachers and also your students. So as you can see here, it's student, uh, teacher admin and uh, student admin. So I want to add my teachers. You must add your teachers before you add your students. So instead of clicking that one, that's if you want to do it individually. I'm going to upload a spreadsheet. So I chose a file that I downloaded earlier on. Uh, there you go. There's my teacher template and I'm going to upload it. So just wait for it to upload the spreadsheet. So as you can see, it is added all of my teachers. And now I want to add my students. So again, I've already done this. There's a student one that I'd already worked up, so I'm going to upload that one. Um, the system automatically generates 30 students uh, with student one, two, and three, and then you can add as many as you want to. If you want to change these names, just click in here and call Joe 
Smith, for example, or you can ignore them. It's entirely up to you. OK, um, so we've given you the choice of either uploading your own students or keeping with the 30 students that are there. So that basically means now the system has automatically generated a username and password. Um, we've put them all into year six. Oh, we've got some in reception, year two, year three. Um, as a school, you can see all their results. And obviously, it's permissions. Now, permissions is really important. You need to make sure that your permissions um, look like this. Because you do not want years one, two, and three accessing village, town, and city because the material isn't suitable. So this has all been done so it's age appropriate. Okay. Um, and then you click save, save changes. Okay. And then the scenarios, they're all cl clicked on. So teachers can go in and um, unclick those which i'll show you how to do that in a second so i'm going to come out of that and i'm going to now go into the teacher so as a teacher i have my own individual login and um, i will see the class members that have been assigned to me okay so i'm going to click this um the back one scenario overviews so in the scenario overview, it shows you um, exactly, let me have that one across, what each scenario covers. Okay, so children start at year, you know, five to seven year olds, they start on playground and they move on to street and then village, town and city. But each one of these is a lesson. Okay, I understand that you're going to be teaching this virtually at the moment so we're giving you access just to let them play the games make sure they all do the rapid fire quiz which is built into the games and i'll show you how that works in a second but basically there's 12 individual lessons within this please be aware the village you've got images town radicalization and city grooming it is very subtle the images are very subtle but i just want to make sure that you're aware of that place that down Okay, so now what I want to do is go into my permissions, which I spoke about. Um, as you can see, they're here. But as a teacher, I don't want all year ones to play all the games in one go, because guess what? They will. So I'm going to click save because I'm a year one teacher. So that means that they can only access those. So you can do that for any one of the levels. As you can see here, um, you know, I've only opened it up for one game per level but if I'm on year one I will only play playground if I'm a year two teacher it'd be playground year three is street year four is village year five is town and year six is city now you can let them play the game on their own there are resources in here that you won't be able to download but you can view so if you wanted to pull questions from our workbooks you can okay so, you know, um, okay, and obviously if you get older students, there's a lot more, uh, there are a lot more questions. So, you know, is this banner um, bullying or is it just mean explain? So those are the scenarios. They, they go through some questions, but I'm going to show you that now within Gooseberry Student. Now, Gooseberry Student is an app. So download it from any one of the app stores or on a desktop, laptop, iPad, please get the students to download it because the user experience is far better on an iPad. All right, um, so I'm gonna go to my student admin area and I'm going to pick Joe Smith. So his username is 549KF. Um, you need to email the children their username and password. So this username is blackdog42. So I'm going to do that. So the username is 549 Five, four, nine, eight. All right, and black dog four. So it's black dog. We've already picked them how to have to say 
passwords for tea. Okay. Okay. So I can turn the music off if I want to. On. I'm going to go into playground. Um, and as you can see, I set the permission, so I can't access those games. I spoke about the rapid fire quiz, get the children to do the rapid fire quiz. This is audio as well as text, okay? Um, there's a leaderboard, so you can do a little bit of fun and get students to compete against each other if you want to. And then um, you literally, the children can play this at home. Video chat. Um, Tap it's a game. To video chat uh, online. It's fun. How will you help? You can't Tap hear it. It's audio safe. as well as text. Um, and I have to collect stars, find family members, but it will go through scenarios. So I'm going to whiz, 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 whiz through um, like this. And in a second. So if you bear with me. What you also need to do, and I'll go through this in a second, is get parents to download the G Parent app. So the parents then can see, I'll show you in a second, what the, their child has seen, but it also gets the parent to answer the same questions as their son or daughter. It sends them a notification that their son or daughter has played. You need to send them a username and password with just a username and then it goes through some security to make sure that the right parent is attached to the right child. Um, we then support the parent with conversation starters so they can go in During and show video exactly chat, how that works. You can see and hear the so, other person. True or... Well done. So that gives you an idea of how the game works. So I'm now going to go back into the platform. All right, I'm going to refresh that. Um, and I will be able to see as the teacher how each child has responded. Obviously, I haven't played as everyone. I think it was Joe Smith I was playing as, wasn't I? So it will show, it will show the pre-rapid fire quiz, then it'll show the questions. And then at the end, there's a post-rapid fire quiz when they finished all of the levels. And when they finished all of the levels, go into your permissions and go into the scenarios and open them all, all up. And that's all you have to do. So once they've played it, they then can focus on the scoring side. But as I said, get the parents to download. I'm just going to go um, back, um, back into Gooseby Teacher a second. In the resources area, in the hints and tips, there is a welcome to Gooseby Planet. Now, if you would like this, I am quite happy to email it or direct them to, please, our website, um, to the Gooseby Parent page, which I'll show you how to do in a second, which gives you all the information that they need to know to download the app, okay, and how it works. So as you can see here, it's free of charge. They can see the scores of how their child, uh, the child has performed, but they get to compete against their son and daughter as well. Um, so that's totally free of charge. So as a teacher, you can see the results, um, and then as a parent, you can see the results for your own child. So, um, you know, we get that you can't teach in class because of the workbook, but we just feel that it's a great opportunity to start a conversation with parents as well and get their children to do the homework and, and play the games at home. We are updating the platform in September. The games are enhanced, the whole platform's enhanced. We've got lots of new features. And this is why we're doing this, is it's giving us the opportunity almost to get rid of old stock, if you like, um, and because we're revamping all of the games as from September. So um, it's a great opportunity for you to start using Gooseby Planet and keeping children safe online. Thank you very much.